Our weather wise, it was nice to see the sunshine come out today. It was a loud stormy night for a lot of folks. Hopefully you're able to get some rest. Nothing to worry about as far as storms, but much colder air is going to slide in tonight and even colder as we head towards the start of the weekend. So if you have any plants outside your home, I know a lot of farmers are keeping an eye on crops and frost potential. We're going to need to keep a really close eye on the next two nights. Made it into the low 70s today in Columbia, sitting at 71. There are really pretty conditions across the area. Nashville sitting at 68. The high thin clouds that you see up there, those are called cirrus clouds. So if you want a free little weather lesson for you and the kiddos, these are cirrus clouds. Uh, they're supposed to look like the mane of a, of a horse's tail. Uh, and so those are what we've got tonight. They'll likely set the stage for a real pretty sunset. Otherwise, that's all we're looking at is nice calm conditions. The wind is one thing that we'll keep an eye on. Right now it's out of the northwest around 12 miles an hour and it will pick up as we head into the evening hours. That's good news for frost. Not so good news if you were going to try to exercise outdoor tomorrow or get the kids out early because there will be some bite to the air. Here's a look at satellite and radar. It's nice to see it quiet. It'll stay this quiet at least for the next couple days. Temperatures are in the low 60s, low 70s now. The wind pouring in out of the northwest behind the front that came through last night. The coldest air is yet to come. As we head into the evening hours tonight, the wind speed is going to increase. Faster wind helps to keep temperatures warmer. So this is actually going to help us a little bit as far as the frost concerns overnight. Currently gusts from Louisville over towards St. Louis are around 38 miles per hour. It won't be that strong here, but we'll likely have some 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts tonight. That will prevent temperatures from getting all the way to freezing, but it's not going to prevent them from dipping into the 30s. It'll just keep us in the upper 30s. That is a far cry from the near record setting heat in the 80s that we had yesterday. So this is what we look to bottom out at during the overnight hours tonight. Low 30s for areas east. Greatest concern for any patchy frost would be for our eastern tier in the plateau right along 37 along Interstate 65. That's a chilly start. The coldest morning though looks to be Saturday morning. There's a freeze watch in effect for the plateau, so this is not for tonight. It's for tomorrow night because that's when it is expected to be the coldest with the calmest winds and will likely set the stage for more widespread frost potential, especially for that eastern tier. So for the farmers that are paying attention, going to have to protect those crops this weekend. Easter looking very soggy and somewhat stormy. We'll talk about that coming up at 5.